I was just a regular, slightly odd teenager, navigating life with a heavy dose of sarcasm. One crisp autumn evening, I found myself leaving my friend's house after a movie night, blissfully unaware that I was about to be the star of a real-life horror comedy. As I strolled down the dimly lit street making my way home, I noticed an unsettling feeling gnawing at my gut. The shadows seemed to grow longer and more sinister, and the streetlights flickered like a cheesy horror movie. But it wasn't the flickering lights that sent shivers down my spine. It was him. The guy who had been lurking in the shadows, following me like a dedicated paparazzo tracking a Kardashian. If I had a dollar for every step he took, I could have retired by now. Being the resourceful, sarcastic individual that I am, I decided to put on a little one-woman show. You know, you're not the best at this whole stalking thing, I called out over my shoulder. I mean, a little subtlety wouldn't hurt. My would-be stalker, apparently not one for repartee, quickened his pace. I rolled my eyes and decided to turn it up a notch. Oh, you're still here? I thought I'd lost you back there in the creepiness. I picked up my pace just to make things interesting. You know, if you're trying to give me a heart attack, you're going about it the right way. But I have to say, I'd prefer a bouquet of roses. He was practically breathing down my neck now, and I could almost feel the hair on the back of my head standing on end. So I decided to unleash the pinnacle of dark humor. Listen pal, if you wanted my autograph, you could have just asked. No need to resort to fan stalking. But my comedic efforts didn't deter him. He reached out a hand, his fingers almost grazing my shoulder. I spun around ready to unleash a verbal assault that would make even the toughest of criminals cry for mercy. Only there was no one there. I found myself standing in an empty, eerily silent street. No stalker, no audience for my stand-up routine, just the cold, oppressive night. As I continued my way home, I couldn't shake the feeling of unease. The dark humor had served me well, but deep down, I couldn't deny the lingering chill that whispered, You might have just dodged a bullet, but you'll never know what lurked in the shadows that night. So there it was, a dash of dark humor, a sprinkle of sarcasm, and a whole lot of unsettling spookiness. In the end, it turned out I was the best stand-up comedian on that sinister, silent street. 